And welcome back to your first 2020 edition of Thoughts of the Roundtable. It's me, Matt. And me, Paul. How are you? Good. We, I think we forgot to sign off in 2019, but that's okay. It Did we? Oh, anyway. well. Just like 2019, it ended with a bang. Did you see... What do, what do you watch when... Uh, that night, December 31st. Do you watch TV at all? Like the ball drop ceremony? Um, you know, I went to a friend's house and then we played this really cool game. It's kind of like a mashup of like apples to apples and like Mad Libs. And it was really cool. And then there was some other, like we were just having a good time. But then I think we turned on, it was like NBC's ball drop. I mean, it's all the same. Because I like to watch CNN's only for the fact that I love Anderson Cooper. Oh. And to see him go from like report, like solid reporter to him Mm. doing barely being able to do uh jaeger bombs on live tv (laughs) and almost puking i gotta admit though i miss him and kathy used to have such a good relationship i don't like her oh okay so you're fine well because she's she's always to me is like that annoying aunt you just want to shut up (laughs) you're like you can only handle like 10 minutes and you're like yeah and she's one of those people like oh you can have like a couple minutes and it's like all right just shut up you're just too much but i feel like she and anderson used to have such good uh you know back and forth but i don't know you know the whole thing about Remember she like, kissed him on new year's eve oh I, I and mean, he was like taken aback by it i could totally imagine that he's like <laughs> he's the kind of like gay guy that's like listen i'm just a normal dude and with like, the look on his face just like wow okay yeah. <laughs> i just you know like, no offense to any of those shows it, it's just like i'm not that interested in like tuning into any of them i don't know like, all i think I, about is the how- ball drops cool i guess like but like, I'm not going to be like, oh, guess It's just, fun. You know. I like seeing the year the wrap-ups they do. That's Okay, fun. those are kind of cool. And I always like when they have reporters on weed buses. Those <laughs> those are pretty good. But um, I always like see the people in the crowd. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I wonder how many of those people have just shit their pants. Dude, all because of Because uh, like, basically all, all of, them. of them. Yeah. So that's like one of the reasons. Like, There's like a few things on my like would never do list. And I can't even imagine what's really on that list. But standing in the middle of New York City for that night having to crap my pants over and over. Yeah. That's on my... I had a friend who legitimately lived in New York City, and he lived in Manhattan, like, mm-hmm. seriously, like, a 10-minute walk from time, uh, Times mm-hmm. Square. I was like, oh, so you... Mu-, and he lived there for five, six years. Mm-hmm. I was like, so you obviously went down for the ball drop. He's like, absolutely not. He's... N- there's no way. I'm like, you live five, like, five blocks from me. He goes, doesn't matter. Don't want to do it. Well, another <laughs> thing, too, is, like, I'm, I'm a heavy peer, dude. I drink so much water and liquids... I probably have to pee. You once just have an to hour. pee your pants. Like I low key have to pee right now. And, like just where would all my pee go? It's not like a like. Okay. You do have you do pee every time we do this podcast. Yes, because I drink like maybe 140 ounces of water plus like an extra like do you track 30 it? ounces plus of coffee and like I mean I'm not like tracking it per se but like I you know I'm just where would all that go? It's not like okay. Have a baggie with all my pee or anything. I don't know. I mean, I, you, you have to just crap your pants and pee your pants. That's all you got to do. But, like, I, I, I'd have too much pee. That's the problem. Also, you'd be, like, <laughs> this huge, like, I'd your be pants like, are all soaked. swelled up. I'd be so. But uh, I, so I, what nasty. I was thinking about, too, is, you know, they have those hats that have, like, the Planet Fitness logo oh, on Oh, my God. Like, they how look terrible. much do you think they paid to have all those Planet Fitness hats down there? Oh, probably, like, two bucks a hat, not even, but, like... Still I'm not wearing that. That that thing looked like Cat in the Hat went to Planet Fitness. I don't like, know. that thing looked terrible. I'm not I, wearing that. I, w- I went to Times Square once. Just mm-hmm. It was just... I was in New York City, and we walked down Times Square. It was just... It was like middle of the summer, not anything special, but it yeah. was a Saturday night. Okay. It was so crowded, I just wanted to scream. And that was just a Saturday. Just Saturday. Yeah. I'm like, this is not... I can't you were You were asking... I was like, you yeah, were asking for a new plague that day. There's like people on stilts and shit. <laughs> oh, just yeah. like there's all these things going on, which is cool. And I get if you like that, but to me, I was just like, I can't even breathe at the yeah. moment. I think a lot of New Yorkers refer to it as a tourist trap. I mean, without a doubt, it is. Because like, isn't that where like that. there's like an Olive Garden that's like thirty bucks a plate? Olive Garden. And I don't remember like that. that. I just remember I went to New York with my buddies. Uh, one of my buddies who smokes. Yeah. And it was like eighteen dollars a pack. He goes, mm. I'm just gonna move here. This will get me to quick uh, quit real quick. <laughs> Well, you know what's funny, too? Like, I work on an early morning schedule, and I'm like, oh, like, if I were ever to move to New York or L.A., I'm like, I'd actually probably want to be on an early morning schedule, because then you don't, you could beat all the traffic. And ironically, people don't don't say this, because I've been there a couple times. New York is the city that never sleeps. Mm-hmm. No, that city sleeps. A lot of stuff is closed by, like, 9 to 10 o'clock. <laughs> it really is. We were down, and we were down there. It was only, like, 10, 
10 30 oh gosh, and late for we me. couldn't find a place to really even just go eat everything was shut down yeah i was like i thought this was the city that didn't stop like what is this and someone's like get out of my way and then I, and then i almost crapped my pants on the bus that was <laughs> that was a bad day and the bus was in times square where the ball dropped it was, no it was what perfect. happened i had some i had some mac and cheese that didn't agree with me man oh god and we were taking the bus back and i don't even know where in new york we were and I was like, yeah. I got to get up this bus and just poops because it's side, yeah. it's you know near whatever. And then I found this bar and I just booked it into this bar. And I know I knew it was probably one of those like reservation only places. <laughs> I literally ran right by the They're bouncer. Like, Sir, what's your table? No. And you're just like, whoop. I ran right by the bouncer and like made eye contact with him. Mm-hmm. And he must have just seen like the fear of God in my eyes and just like <laughs> just let him go. He's like, that, those are the eyes of a man who really has to poop. <laughs> uh, well, did you put in a in a resolution? I uh, no because. No, I don't. I don't do the rise. I just try. I don't know. Uh, well, I did put f- six goals together for the year. I have six goals. Okay. Last year I had three, and I did all three. So wasn't stand up was one of them, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was uh, officially released podcasts. Oh my god, like this one. Um, officially put my music up on platforms, and then try stand up. So I did all three this year. I got six, and uh, what are they? Um, book ten gigs on my own, and so far, I mean, like here's book the thing. ten gigs. You booked like. 30 already yeah like. see that's well here's the thing does it count if all the books that i'm all the gigs that i'm booking are like i have connections that like have been pre-established or is this like book 10 new gigs 10 gigs seems like 10 gigs you're doing True. like you're like doing like 10 a month <laughs> i mean i'm not week, joking actually no joke this week i have hosted trivia yesterday i'm sub hosting tonight and then i'm hosting wednesday and thursday and i'm djing on friday night at the club i mean it is you DJ DJ now? Like, do you, oh, yeah. Do you have your own equipment or do you like... Uh, I mean, hospital? luckily for the place, the club that I'm at right now, I mean, I just roll up with my laptop and they have a week, 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 uh, virtual DJ board and all that jazz. But um, no, I mean, I want to kind of reach out. I mean, I don't even know the first thing about like, go- like your, your Google. Your like, goal should be this. Yeah. Because you book a ton of gigs. That mm-hmm. seems like kind of a cop-out thing. <laughs> book 10 out-of-state gigs. Mm. I'm not talking about like Hawaii. I'm saying, yeah. Go to Indiana. Yeah. Go to Kentucky. The only thing is like... I. You know what? This sounds. Does this sound stupid to be like? I don't know how to do that. Or do you think that's just like me? Like, it sounds like a lot of work. It's a lot of cold calls. Like, ha! My name is Matt. Yeah, it's basically all it yeah. is. I um, mean, I'm sure you can find some dive bar to start off at. Exactly. You know, South Bend, Indiana. Oh yeah, that's the best place to club <laughs> DJ. So I had that. I want to film a follow up movie, which uh, that's in the works. I want to continue working on stand-ups. That's kind of vague, but, you know, that's the deal there. At least not give it um, up. I want to write a trilogy of this idea I have. And so far, I've got 20 pages down, so that's great. On the first one? Yeah. And then I wanted to release a new album, which I'm doing this month, so that's almost done. And then the sixth Should one... Should have been an email? Is that what that is? Well, that's the single. Could have been, <laughs> it's could have been an email this Friday. Uh, the album's called Hot Intern. <laughs> and the idea is like it combines kind of. Work. I want to live for a week in your mind. <laughs> you would die. Hot intern. <laughs> so the hot intern album is going to be like this idea of it explores like a lot of like workplace analogy and metaphor in like real life kind of like situations and friendship, family relationships. This is the most millennial bullshit I've ever heard Shut in my the- life. I hate you. <laughs> so like for example, like could have been an email. It's kind of about like you know when you're talking to someone and you're like like dude like. This could have been a text. Like, you didn't have to call me. We didn't have to go out on a date for this. But it's also in the workplace sense, like, when you get, you know, a meeting that should have been an email. And then there's, like, other tracks. Like, another track that actually does, like, a good job of blending this. It's called Resume. And it's actually the album closer. <laughs> and it's, like, a very – it's, like, a power ballad. And it's <laughs> – uh, it really is. And it's comparing, like, the end of a relationship and an end of, like, a workplace. Like, you know, I'll put you on my resume of things I've learned to put away – don't think you're good enough for me to stay. Don't think you're good enough for me to stay. And it's just this, this idea that, like, hey, it's time's up. Like, I'm going to put you on my resume. It's the most put ridiculous new... thing I've ever heard it's, in my life, man. It's going to be some good <laughs> bops. So I'm really excited. And then I, I want to do a summer standalone single that I'm hoping will be really cool, too. But anyway, enough about me. But yeah, so I have my 2020 goals. I don't know. Resolutions are always a little – I don't think anyone follows those. I, I don't really uh... – yeah, I, I guess I should make resolutions, but I don't know. I just never have. I've never done that. It's not like it's something yeah. I've given up on. Maybe my resolution should be to make resolutions. Yeah. I mean, I think goals... My life's boring, though. Goals... Your life isn't boring. My life is boring. <laughs> I think goals, though, is a is a better term for it. Because resolution makes it seem like everything's going to change, right? Mm-hmm. Whereas goal is like, I just I want to do it, so I'm going to explore it. 
And, you know, like, God forbid, like, I don't meet one of these six goals. Like, the world's not going to crash. I'll probably just carry over that goal to next year, you know? Put it so, in red, then, that it was unaccomplished I'll last put year. it in an email because <laughs> you wanted to have a meeting. How is the stand-up going? It's going good. Um, you know, now I'm hosting a monthly show on the east side, and so I want to replicate that on the west side. So the issue there, going back to that South Bend, Indiana thing, is I just got to re- reach out to venues and actually be like, hey, could I host a monthly show here, you know, and blah, blah, blah. And, like, looking for open mic act- opportunities, too. The only thing is, like, I do trivia nights Wednesdays and Thursdays. Mondays I'm doing either trivia or I'm open micing. So, like, I don't have that Are much Are you ever going to have a full-time job? I do have a full-time job. You know what I mean. Like what? Like your your set career path, or is it just going to be a whole bunch of like? <laughs> I think it's always going to be a patchwork quilt. Um, I don't know. The more I think about it, like I think I'm most interested actually in like videography. I don't know. Like I just think of all the things that I've done and like the things that like I think I'll continue. You're gonna be to like work a cameraman for National Geographic someday. Nah, not like that. More like. I don't know, like, you know, like, those shows on, like, Comedy Central that, like, it's, like, directed, written, and produced, and starring, like, that one person? Yeah. I think that's kind of, like, where I'd like to be in, like, ten years, give or take. Making your own movies on Comedy Central? Like, not even, like, like a cult classic-esque kind of vibe. Like, Friday? (laughs) Oh, I thought you meant Friday by Rebecca Black. No, You mean Friday the movie, yeah, okay. Okay, yes. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> also equally hilarious. I mean both very similar. Well, do you have any news for us? I do. Um, so you remember I think it was it's twenty twenty now. I think it was I think it was early twenty nineteen when that uh, the um, the Powerball got real high. Remember it was like three hundred some million? Oh, I think No, it what was it? It was higher. It was close it was to a billion, wasn't it? A lot of money. I remember I mean, once in a while. It happens every Okay, once in a while. so there's two instances I'm thinking of. The one where it got close to a billion dollars. It was like 800 some. Three people won that. You remember that? Oh, uh, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. three yeah. people. And they never ID'd any of them. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, they never ID'd any of them. Like, they came forward. Yeah. But they were all anonymous. And then it got, it was like 380 million. So pretty, fr- it was like the large, and one person once it was the largest single person. Mm. And that lady never turned in the ticket. It was a oh. woman. I remember they leaked, but the they she they never found her, and so that move. I guess it went back to. The, I don't know where it goes, but can yeah. you imagine losing that ticket that's worth three hundred eighty million? Ooh, no. But anyways, long story short, when that was all going on, I was like convinced I was going to win the, win that lottery. Yeah, remember because everyone had bought tickets. Yeah. Well, there's these two guys in Mississippi. Of course, who, Mississippi. It's always Mississippi. It's always which, Mississippi, Florida, Mississippi. I just they. Obviously, did not win the mm-hmm. lottery, but they thought they could. They could chance it. Sneak in there a little bit. They edited a ticket using glue and wrote on numbers. Okay, and then what happened? Well, obviously, the teller knew immediately that was it was fake and called the police. I don't know if it's actually a crime or not. I mean, I think so, right? It's like kind of like fraud. I mean, yeah, but they. Didn't, I don't. I don't know. What, what would you do to them? Would you charge if them? I was the, like, bank the hell teller or the police. Because it's not like they're ever gonna get away with this. Ever, no matter where they try it. I don't know. I think if I was the police, I'd probably be like, dudes, just don't. I think if I was the bank teller, I'd probably laugh about it and be like, get the frick out of here. But... <laughs> All right. Now, uh. Um, tenacity, though. You gotta give them the tenacity. One, uh, one more story. I, I always wanted to do this, but I didn't think it was actually possible. And I think mm. there's part of the story that we, we don't know where a, um, a woman reportedly. Uh, fell asleep on a mattress at a mattress store <laughs> and stayed there all night. And then the employees didn't see her and she just slept there all night. <laughs> but like, this is like a sitcom plot that like never happens. Now it happens though. Well, there's, there's, like, I feel like there's a couple sitcoms. things where it's like, it makes me seem fishy. One, uh, the obvious, how does an employee not see you sleeping on the, was it a canopy those? bed maybe? I don't know. It's a dis- it just calls it a display mattress. Maybe with one of those like mosquito nets around it. Like okay, even so, okay, <laughs> a so, bunk bed situation. So, just in the bottom bunk, all curled up. And... Don't you would assume eventually you'd wake up in the middle of the night, right? Oh yeah, I mean right. If, if leading, let's say she goes to bed at like six, leading me to, yeah, because obviously she was there before the store closed. Yeah, the store isn't closed. And I don't know what time does a mattress store close? Like eight, seven, eight, maybe nine. I don't know. To be fair, there's that whole theory. I think we've talked about this. 
of Mattress Firm being like housing like the mafia or whatever. Oh yeah, remember that theory? Yeah, but so, also, don't they anyway. have like motion detectors for security overnight? You would think probably. But if she's like dead ass, what asleep? would you do? Say, say by some account this did happen to you, mm-hmm. and you wake up at like two thirty four a.m. I'd be and so you're scared. on a display mattress. What would you do? I'd probably call. Do you call the police? I would probably call the police. Yeah, because yeah, I would probably call the police. It'd just stay in that bed. <laughs> yeah, I don't even move because like I'm like I don't know. Because like the, the here's the truth. Because I'm assuming I mean, they have security lights. Yeah, the like, stores always leave a couple lights on. Yeah, so you can see stuff. I'm wondering like because like if you get up out of that bed and start moving around, well then it looks suspicious, right? Well, you can always tell them to go to the to the camera and they're going to yeah. see what you did. So if you didn't do anything, you legitimately didn't do anything. Yeah, but still, I would still call the police and be like, Whoops. or like I don't know, maybe you call the mattress store. Like, ma- well, well, no one's going to answer. You're, the phone's going to be ringing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I was thinking? I was thinking like <laughs> the manager's like. Well, who's waking me up? Hello? Yeah, like, I know. How would you get access <laughs> yeah. to that number? Yeah, you probably have to call the police on yourself, right? That would be pretty pretty funny, though. Gosh, this is why we should have 24-7 mattress uh, stores. I kind of want to do something like that, though. Just see if it's possible. <laughs> that would be interesting, to say the least. All right, that's it for me today. Well, I got a little bit of advice for you. You want to save that for the next one? Oh, we 15. could. Yeah, we're up like... We're a little deep in this one. Well, we're starting off 2020 with a bang. We'll see you next time. Later.